Here to elevate your professional image, outclass your competition, and increase your bottom line, please join me in welcoming Nancy Lynn. Thank you. I got to tell you, I've got a lot of respect for the work that you do. I am just coming off of the director of programs for a large and very active association. Whew, there's a lot of details involved in that. As meeting professionals, there are so many aspects to your job that require effective communication. And yes, it has to do with, a, with writing clearly, but also has to do with being able to speak effectively. And I realize that you don't speak for a living, but you are always speaking, whether you're pitching to a client or you're speaking with your staff, uh, you always are speaking. And when it comes to communication, effective communication, it is so much more than what you say and how you say it. It involves corporate etiquette, international protocol, having a compelling message and a dynamic delivery, being able to be comfortable in your own skin, and being able to get your message across clearly, as well as having a professional image. So that's what I do. I help people to speak, look, and act appropriately so that they are confident, that they're credible, and that they feel composed. Let me tell you a story about Matt. Matt is an event planner for a mid-sized company right here in the Northeast. And a colleague introduced me to this company. And for over a decade, I've worked with hundreds of their employees. Matt, in particular, was, is brilliant. He's dynamic. He's capable. He's a pleasure to work with. He has to give presentations occasionally. And when he does, he's always prepared. but. He is so nervous, high anxiety when he's presenting. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> and it could be how you would feel if you're standing up here on stage. So one day I heard that he was giving a presentation and he was completely prepared, became so nervous, he actually passed out, blacked out, hit the floor. We were working together and have been working together over the past year to help him to feel more confident, more composed, to be able to speak to someone versus having a blur. And we went from looking, just darting around the room really quickly, everyone was a blur, feeling as though he was cemented to the floor was in lockdown pose, and his heart was racing. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> Not anymore. He's much more confident. And in, I just heard from a senior executive that he gave a presentation and totally rocked it. He brought the house down, and he still remains standing. So there are a few tips that I gave him, it wasn't that he was not prepared, it was just simple tips and techniques that were very effective to help him to be more confident and more composed. And one of those tips is what you do with your eyes. To think in terms of when you're speaking, whether it's a few people or it's a large group, to speak to one person at a time and pause and breathe in between your thoughts. Have a series of one-on-one -on -one conversations. It's not about taking everyone in, but taking in one person at a time and really connecting with them. And then speaking to someone else and so on. This will help you to be more relaxed and feel as though you're aware of what you're saying when you're saying it. Which brings us to our second tip, and that is to try to match your movement to your message so that what you say and what you're doing when you say it is effective. And then the last 
story that I shared with Matt was about my dad and the way he could work a room. I was in awe of him since I was a little girl and, and would try to emulate him since the age of eight. And what it came down to is he was present. He spoke to everyone as though they were the most important person in the room. Being present is one of the greatest gifts you can give to others. So that's what I do. I help people to feel confident, composed, and credible in the way that they speak, the way they look, and the way they act. Thank you.